Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 15th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, where you have a look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms, B-class, C-class, and as well, M-class solar flares recently and most recent was the m-class solar flare looking at the last 48 hours incoming i'm not even sure if this was an earth-facing event but we're going to be keeping an eye on the fiery regions that are cresting looking at outgoing imagery here this is where the solar flare erupted as well, the B-class and C-class, you can see in the outgoing position there. A quick and closer look at the M-class solar flare right here. Amazing imagery coming from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Another close look at the outgoing active regions. Now, ISWA is not updating its space prediction spiral. They have not for a couple days now. Still looking at old ISWA spiral predictions. So we'll have to use NOAA for the most recent. Having a look here at multi-spectrum. Pretty active region cresting. And as well, pretty large plasma filaments stretching across the sun right now looking at 171 angstroms there are no coronal holes earth facing right now one developing in the northern hemisphere and one stretching from the southern hemisphere in the coming days looking at solar x-ray flux as you can see we did have that m class flare today and b and c class over the past couple days from the 13th up until today, geomagnetic activity remains low. Looking at the frequency absorption map here, looks like South Pacific Ocean was zapped pretty good. Space prediction no, uh, spiral here with NOAA. We are expecting a space weather event 18th into the 19th of February. Looking at a real-time solar wind, as we're sitting at 391 kilometers per second right now. Definitely has come down since the last, last update. Schumann resonance is a power of 13. Not much change since yesterday. We're at 15 for yesterday. Still a pretty healthy resonance across the planet. Amplitude of 13, a quality of 6.7. Now let's have a look at earthquakes here for the past 24 hours across the world. We're going to start out here with the largest earthquake across North American plate the last seven days. A 4.7 just occurred today. Mina, Nevada at a four kilometer depth. Followed by a couple minor aftershocks, 2.6 and a 3.4. As well, minor activity here. Arizona doesn't happen not doesn't happen often. Roosevelt, 2.5, Arizona. As well, White City, New Mexico, minor activity. Gardendale, Texas. And as well, South Texas there with a 2.8. Now, I wanted to show you on the USGS, there is minor activity moving westwards towards Mono Lake from the Mina, Nevada event. As well, minor activity through the Pacific Northwest, no swarms to talk about right now. But notable earthquakes here, minor tremblers atop of St. Helens. Yet again, this is the second week in a row where we've seen this activity occur. Right on the top of St. Helens and boy, Washington. I mean, it's not even a magnitude of one. Just notable minor activity tremblers. Looking across Alaska as activity has increased, a lot of minor activity. 
3.8, the largest throughout the region. As well, 3.2 there, Petersville. Attu Station, Alaska, 4.3, that's the Rat Islands. 4.3 here, Ashinamaki, Japan, 8 kilometer depth. Nazi Japan as well at 4.7, 40 kilometer depth. Pagan region, Northern Mariana Islands, 188 kilometer depth, 4.5. That was reported yesterday. Singil, Indonesia, 4.4, as well at 4.9 here in Shagonar, Russia, at a 29 kilometer depth, just south there. Xinjiang, 4.2, China. As well, notable earthquake here, a 4.9 in the Arafura Sea. Now, I haven't seen earthquakes south of Indonesia often, so that's a pretty notable earthquake. As well, the deepest past 24 hours was a 4.4. Fiji region's 595 kilometer depth. That was late last night. Central America here, 4.4. La Libertad, El Salvador at a 69 kilometer depth as well pretty sizable 5.0 earthquake here in guadalupe and bertrand as well activity sizable through the virgin islands virgin cruise islands quiet through south america only reporting one earthquake there 4.3 chile as well one 5.1 earthquake to report south sandwich islands and the largest earthquake past 24 hours, 5.7 here, North Pole. It's Valbard. That was reported last night, followed by a 4.7 and a 4.3. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, looking at about 260 earthquakes across the USGS map. That's what they are reporting. As you can see, looking at the last seven days, there's a lot of red. So those are older earthquakes. Very quiet North American plate, South America, Central. Increased activity across the Atlantic and the African plate this week. As well, look at all these deep earthquakes. Tonga region, Fiji. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated as well satellite imagery across the world for weather. We're going to start out here. Sangay in Ecuador, Swiss in Najima, Japan, Sabakaya in Peru, as well Era in Japan, Fuego, Guatemala, Semeru, Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, and Nevada's to Ruz, Colombia, Luatolo, Indonesia, and Dekono, Indonesia. This is all over the last two days. Manam, Papua New Guinea, Yasser, Vanuatu, Nevada's to Chilean, and Aoba, and of course Etna, putting it, spewing out quite a flow and as well putting on quite a show for Italians. Looking around the world, pretty large system in the North Pacific and as well the North Atlantic dry across the west western parts of North America heavy snow falling across Japan things drying out in Australia we do have one tropical storm to talk about tropical cyclone Dumaco was just named today as it is making landfall already through Madagascar and in the long range forecast here watch for these two systems through the Indian Ocean to do the same thing and one of them quite possibly could turn into a cat 4 cyclone as it makes landfall Madagascar watch for the forecast coming up Quick look here at the Atlantic Ocean, a large system there. Center of the low is over Greenland, and then there's a lot of snow falling in coastal regions. Let's have a look at the, the five-day forecast brought to you by windy.com. We're going to start out here in North America, of course, home base, as we do have a large system heading in. 
low pressure system north of us is going to bring all the cold. And then this intense system from southern United States is going to be bringing in a lot of warm, wet moisture and as well snow on the backside. Extreme weather across the southeastern U.S. Watch for tornado warnings. Long range forecast here. Pretty big system heading into Newfoundland. Overlooking South America. Dilly evaporation rains could be heavy at times, especially through Argentina. Next Tuesday into Wednesday. Overlooking Europe. Low pressure system, eastern parts of Europe and as well. Pretty big one heading into the United Kingdom this week. Monday into Tuesday, you're going to be inundated by a lot of rain and very windy conditions. Pretty strong system heading into there. Overlooking Africa. Watching the forecast here of the next cyclone. And it looks like it's going to make landfall Monday into Tuesday. Madagascar head straight onto the country and then straight south. Overlooking Australia, Indonesia, Southeast Asia. No major weather events to talk about. Daily evaporation rains across coastal regions. And as well, watch for this low pressure system to develop. Northern Territory, Australia. Could be an intense one in the long range forecast. No major weather systems heading to Hawaii. And it looks like California is going to get a little bit of rain. But other than that, high pressure ridge is winning all across the Pacific Northwest. Having a look here at snowfall totals over the next 10 days. As this system races across the Northeast and into Canada, Atlantic provinces, another 140 centimeters of snow heading to Newfoundland. Heavy snow amounts through Greenland. As well, the United Kingdom in the long range. And this is the system here that I was talking about over Japan. Seems to be stuck right there, dropping enormous amounts of snow. Looking across Alaska, BC. Watch for heavy snowfall totals there as well. Systems coming in. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.